In this video, we'll take a look at the elements of SendPulse's chatbot builder. All chatbot flows begin with a message element. In this element, in addition to text, you can add a button that will either lead to your site or launch another chatbot flow. Add variables to personalize messages for each subscriber. For example, to add a subscriber's name in the message. You can add a picture, file, or element with a delay to the message, which will simulate typing. Also in this element, you can set up a request for entering user data. To do this, select the type of entered values from the drop-down list. String, number, date, email, phone, or URL. If the subscriber enters a value that does not fit the validation condition, they'll receive a warning message. This data will be saved in the Audience tab of your chatbot. Email addresses and phone numbers are saved in an automatically generated email mailing list. You can set the action by clicking on the link. For example, after clicking on this button, we'll assign a city tag to the subscriber and we'll be able to use this data for future campaigns. The filter element allows you to send messages in a flow based on various conditions, variables or tags, participation in another flow, or whether the user receives your mass campaigns or not. The API request element allows you to execute a request to a third-party server, receive data, and use it in bot messages. For example, you can show the weather in a subscriber city by receiving data from third-party resources. You can read more about our API documentation by the link in the video description. To set a pause between flow elements, select the Pause element. After the specified time, the next message will be sent. When choosing a pause of one day or more, set the time at which the message will be sent.